What is going on guys, it is Fatal Reaper today, bringing you a new video. We're talking about the HP Pavilion gaming laptop in this, and guys, if you're new to this channel or you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. We are reaching 1,000 subscribers, we are very close if we're not already uh, hit 1,000 subscribers by this time, hopefully we have. We'll be doing a whole video on that and a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Today we're talking about, is the HP Pavilion gaming laptop worth it? In this first portion of the video, you're talk we're talking about the HP Pavilion we're going over the battery life so battery life you're always going to want to keep that on best performance to run your games and I'm not going to lie you're probably going to have to keep this game or the, the laptop on the charger if you're going for high higher tier gaming especially Modern Warfare Fortnite and you're playing for long periods of time so the main portion of this video and the main key is is this laptop worth it I have two videos that I want to show you here this first segment is showing my uh, my main PC setup running Fortnite the second portion is going to show the HP Pavilion running Fortnite, so you can get a good comparison. So this first portion is my main setup, 2070 Super Graphics card, and then you'll get see the HP Pavilion, and then we'll have HP Pavilion play Modern Warfare at the very end. Now, this is some old footage, some old games. I got million, or I almost said millions. I have many games that you can play or see that I've played and done tests on. They are on my playlist, and you can easily go check those out, and it will pop up here on the screen here in just a second. But what we're going to be talking about, is it worth it? So in 2021, you know, everything, every year, or every, even half a year, you know, graphics cards, everything like that, we're getting more and more advanced, PCs getting better and better and better at running things and stuff like that. So to the question today, a lot of people ask, is this laptop still worth it? I've got a lot of questions about that. Personally, I would say highly yes, if you can get it for a good price. The price now is about seven to 800. It's in pretty high demand. A lot of people have bought it. When I personally got it, it was about $560. I got it on sale. Uh, it was about a year ago. So I will be doing a laptop later on a complete a year after the lap uh, year of having the HP Pavilion. I will be doing a later video on that to see what, what everything's going on, what has happened, what's changed, everything like that. Again, but is it worth it? In the short answer, I would say yes. Now, in terms of what you want, I would definitely recommend a high uh, a custom gaming PC if you're going. For the end all be all, go for a custom PC. Don't make excuses. Go for a custom build PC. I made the mistake long ago, many times, telling you take it for someone, take it slow, buy part by part, make a custom PC. But if you can't just truly afford that, I was in the same position for a while. This laptop is a good alternative. It just is. A lot of people say it's not, or some people say if you really want something, especially like this mobile like this, it does out for outperform an Xbox One S, um, a PS4. You know, I've I've have it outperform all of that. I will have a video up here in a couple months of it versing the Xbox One S, and I'm telling you guys, it really does. It outperforms it. I mean, you can see right here with Modern Warfare and uh, Fortnite. I mean, it just it plays flawlessly. I mean, I played every single game I've played has played flawlessly. There have been a few with a few minor hiccups that had to change some settings, and this is a medium settings, by the way, on Modern Warfare. And I mean, that's not bad at all. The fact that it's able to play that, my Xbox One S can't even play Fortnite at the moment. It just hangs up and lags. I'm going to try my best to get it to work and see what we can do and see the comparison. We'll have a video, like I said, later on about that. But, I mean, it's just it's just incredible what this thing can do. Again, it has a 1650 graphics card. comes with standard 8GB RAM. You can't upgrade that to 16. I do have an upgrade of 16 as of now in these videos that was still 8GB, and it was still playing that. So, RAM will make it, you know, kind of increase and run a little bit better fluidly. So, again, short answer, and in the long run, if you, is, is this laptop still worth it in 2021? I highly recommend it and highly say yes. Um, again, that comes kind of down to personal preference. If you yourself, you know, want more, you know, maybe a custom PC is for you or something like that. But if you're just wanting something mobile and something that can play things like, you know, Minecraft, Roblox, or stuff like that, kind of smaller games, but at the same time, maybe jump on some Modern Warfare or Fortnite, yeah, definitely, definitely 100%. This has played it, no issues. Um, I mean, there you do have to kind of keep it on the charger and a few other little things. Um, you do have to watch, keep your graphics drivers up to date. I've had some people have issues with that, um, but these are just simple fixes for the most part. And I've I personally have not had any issues with it, and it run pretty much flawlessly. I've never had any hiccups with it or running into any issues, especially after putting in the 16 gigs of RAM. It did seem to run a lot smoother and better, and I still use it uh, pretty much day to day. 
um, and still record videos of it. Again, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be doing very uh, various more videos on this laptop, as many as I can, to help you guys out on you know your laptop or anything like that, or any other questions you have. We'll be doing a lot more things with this channel too. Now that I'm getting close to a thousand subscribers, I want to help you guys out and show you even more content that I got. We're gonna be doing a lot of Modern Warfare probably here in the near future, Warzone, and some other things. I just recently got a scuff controller. That video may or may be out already though. Stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.